Adobe Design to Print is a free plugin for Adobe Photoshop that makes it easy for you to take your artwork and create products for sale on Zazzle.com, where you can earn royalties for your creations, helping you turn your passion into a paycheck. Adobe Design to Print enables you to use the Layers panel within Adobe Photoshop to create separate objects which are up when the up files are uploaded to Zazzle.com. Let's take a look at how that works. What I've got here are four layers of this particular design. And when I hit the Publish button and I take the default answer of Object Level Upload from my publishing options, then when this is opened on Zazzle.com, we have the ability to edit the document to see how these layers are being used. When I click on the Edit Design button, I can see that my design has been uploaded as a single object labelled here Group1.png. Instead of uploading as a single image, what I'd like to do is to use Adobe Design to Print to upload these layers as separate objects. What I'm going to do is select the first layer, I want the layer with the shells images, and I go to my context menu and say New Group from Layers, and I'm going to call this layer Shells. Then I'm going to select the yellow circle layer called layer 1 and the second image of the waves and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click on the context menu and say new group from layers and I'm going to call this window. And then lastly I'm going to click on my text layer and I'll do the same thing for this. I will say new group from layers and I will call this one message. And what I see now within my layers panel is this structure. First at the top level, I've got this group one, and then under this, I have a layers group called message, another layers group called window, and another layers group called shells. What I need to do is to move these groups, these layers out as separate groups at the top level. So I'm just going to drag them above where it says group one. And I don't need group one. I can just delete it. There's nothing in there anymore. Now, when I've done this, I've not changed the design of the bag at all. I've just changed the structure of the layers within it. But now when I press the Publish button, these layers will be grouped together when I select Object Level Upload. And the, the layer groups define the objects that I want to upload. I've, here I will have three separate objects, one for the message, one for the window, and one for the shells. When I click the Edit Design button on the editor, but what I see now is I've got three separate layers which are independent. If I wanted to, I could move these around or hide them independently. I could hide my message, I could hide my window, I could turn the message back on again. These are independent and I can use this as a way of finessing or changing my particular design even once I've uploaded it to the website. Now the other thing I can do as well is bring in other elements that I may have created earlier from other designs, or indeed I can be able to use this design as separate elements in future projects. If I click the My Files button, then I'll see here the different elements here which I've uploaded. For example, here's a smiley face. Maybe I want to incorporate my smiley face into my design as well. This is, was from an earlier project. I can just bring it in and resize it, and we'll see a preview of how that particular product would look. So there's some powerful ways of using layer groups within Adobe Photoshop in order to create different objects that are addressable and movable once we actually get to the website. I hope you found this video useful. If you've not done it already, you can download Design to Print at this link. There are more helpful links in the episode description below. And be sure to check out the other videos in this series.